would say that my journey with menstrual health began almost six years ago and I started writing in columns about it because just as a woman I felt that not only were there taboos around me but there were taboos even within me. I was also one of the girls who would say I have my period, can I go to a temple and all of these things. It wasn't just that I was seeing it outside, it was within. After that I decided to write a short story on Murgan Anthony's life who's the inventor of the low cost sanitary pad making machine. And then I realized that the taboos around menstruation are so widespread that the only way to cut across all kinds of boundaries of culture and economic backgrounds would be to make a movie. In that way, the awareness and the news would spread and so we made Pat Man. I still remember a lot of people when I started to make the movie said that, are you crazy? Who's going to watch a movie about menstruation? People don't even talk about it. And that was a challenge to find people who would even finance a film like this. But I think that as a team, we were very determined and we did that. And soon we realized that every little step you take, you might say that what, what can a movie do? But we realized the impact because pretty much a month after that, we suddenly saw governments announcing that they are having sanitary pad vending machines in all railway stations. There was an impact in the GST. And somewhere I feel that we did play a small part in bringing that about. Then when I looked at this, I felt that you have to attack a problem from every direction you can. So we did, I mean, I thought I did it through columns and through movies. And then I thought that we needed to do some groundwork. And it was fabulous for me to join Save the Children for two reasons. One, because of the great work they've been doing. And two, because you get to catch people really young which means that you get to catch them before their habits are ingrained. The other thing that happens is that we realize that 20% of school girls drop out once they hit puberty. Why do they do that? They do that because of the taboo around menstruation and they do that because they do not have low-cost sanitary pads accessible to them. Just last year, you had a 12-year-old girl in South India who stained her school uniform and her teacher reprimanded her. She didn't drop out of school. She went home, jumped off a balcony and committed suicide. And that's the level of shame that there is around a simple biological function. I feel that it's very important to change mindsets. And what I saw today in Govandi was absolutely gratifying because I saw a peculiar thing. I, I saw the fact that both Nale and Save the Children were not just educating girls, they were educating boys. And that is very important because whatever said and done, we still live in a patriarchal society. And the man is still in control of the household. But if he is also understanding a woman's problem, if he is talking about menstruation, then that household is a lot more progressive than it would be if the man was not educated. I'm looking forward to working with young people, interacting with young people like them. It was an experience when you go out to make an impact and you realize how much of an impact you know, life has made on you. Because I heard marvelous stories. I heard a girl who was saying that she, you know, girls are kept within their households in this community and she was out there playing kabaddi and now she wants to play football and she said, please will you come for football match and we mean that so many more girls can join us. And if just my presence would do that, then I think that it would make a big difference not just me, but from everyone's work. If Saleha can impact 2,500 girls and about how they are reacting with menstrual hygiene, then all of us, I think our, it's our responsibility to do the same, make some sort of change. Everyone keeps waiting for someone else to save the world. But I think it's up to all of us. We all have the, cap we all have the capability as well, and we should go ahead. That's it. Thank you so much.